Hello, Toronto. Bonsoir, Canada. And merci beaucoup pour votre uh, hospitalité. <laughs> Trevor and his family are what Invictus is all about. Invictus is about the dedication of the men and women who served their countries, confronted hardship, and refused to be defined by their injuries. Invictus is about the families and friends who faced the shock of learning that their loved ones had been injured or fallen ill, and then rallied to support them on their journey of recovery. And above all, Invictus is about the example to the world that all service men and women, injured or not, provide about the importance of service and duty. The true scale of this example was brought home to me when I left Afghanistan after my first deployment there in 2008. As I was waiting on board the plane, the coffin of a Danish soldier was loaded on by his friends. Once on the flight, I was confronted with three British soldiers, all in induced comas, with missing limbs and wrapped in plastic. The way I viewed service and sacrifice changed forever, and the direction of my life changed with it. I knew that it was my responsibility to use the great platform that I have to help the world understand and be inspired by the spirit of those who wear the uniform. In a world where so many have reasons to feel cynical and apathetic, I wanted to find a way for veterans to be a beacon of light and show us all that we have a role to play, that we all win when we respect our friends, neighbors, and communities. That's why we created Invictus, not only to help veterans recover from their physical and mental wounds, but also to inspire people to follow their example of resilience, optimism, and service in their own lives. We made a great start in London in 2014. We took it to the next level in Orlando last year, and over the next week in this year, as we celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary, Toronto is going to put on a games that draws the attention of the world. <laughs> more competitors, more sports, more nations, more friends, more families, and more people watching at home than ever before. With the people in this arena tonight and those watching across Canada and around the world, we have the biggest crowd Invictus has ever enjoyed. In the days ahead, I know many of you will be experiencing Invictus for the first time. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for some fierce competition. I hope you're ready to see the meaning of teamwork that proves anything is possible when we work together. I hope you're ready to see courage and determination that will inspire you to power through the challenges in your own life. I hope you're ready to see role models in action that any parent will want their children to look up to. And... And I hope you're ready to see lives change in front of your eyes. Before I close, I want to speak directly to the competitors. For the next week, we entrust you with the Invictus spirit. You have all come such a long way. Some of you have cheated death and come back stronger than before. Some of you have overcome emotional challenges that until very recent years would have seen you written off and ignored. And now you are here, on the world stage, flags on your chests, representing your countries again, 
supporting your teammates and looking up into the stands and into the eyes of your families and friends. You are all winners. Please don't forget to love every second of it. Don't forget about our friends who didn't come home from the battlefield. Don't forget those at home who still need our support. And don't forget that you are proving to the world that anything is possible. You are Invictus. Let's get started.